Join us now for Get Fit on ATMC TV, your community channel. Welcome. We're here at the Body Edge at Ocean Isle Beach. My name's Terry Daly, and I'll be your instructor today. With me today is Cindy Carden and Sarah McCurry. We're going to be doing some cardio, some leg work, and some balance work. So I hope you'll join us. We're going to start with some warm-up and some cardio. Start marching in place. Good. You want your shoulders up and back. Nice, proud chest. Good job. Four more. Three, two, right heel, push. Good, four more. Three, two, back to marching. Heel tap, four, three, two, back and march, four, three, two, heel tap, four, three, march forward, four, three, two, heel tap, come back, four, three, two, walk it forward, four, three, two, heel back, four, three, two more times, here we go, one, two, three, four. Heel back. Good. Come forward again. Heel move back. Tap your foot out to the side. Cross punch. Good. Across. Across. Good. March it out. Nice job. Four more. Three, two, take two steps to the side. Give me a beat. One, two, three. Four more. Three, two. At the end of that, give me a knee lift. One, two, three, knee up. Knee up. Knee up, four more, four, three, two, all knees up right here. Knee up, good, knees up, eight more, eight, seven, six, four more, three, back to marching in place. In four, three, March it forward. Heels coming back. Do that again. March it out. Heels back. Gonna do that one more time. Strong arms. And come back. Two steps to the side. Nice job. We're going to add that knee lift to this. Knee up. Knee up. All knee lift right here. Knees up. Excellent. Four more. Three more. Two more. And march it in place. Good. In four. Let your heart rate come down just a little bit. In four. Three. Two and one. Come to the side of your chair. Hold on. If you need to hold on a lot, 
If you need both, that's fine also. Come to the side, put your toe to the side. You wanna see your shoelace and you're just gonna lift it off the floor. Good, off the floor, on. Good, off, off. Lift, lift. Good job, lift. Remember your standing leg is slightly bent. Try and keep lifted over this hip. Good, four more. Three, we're gonna make it a little tougher. Take it up and hold it. Give me a little toe tap. Good, last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax it. Bend your knees, stick your hip out. Good, slide to the other side. Good, toe, and lift. Up and down, lift, 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 lift. Good, remember your body's lifted up out of those hips. Nice, good posture. Nice, good posture. Nice job. Wanna see that shoelace? Four more times and we're gonna hold it. Four, and three, and two. Hold it up there, nice and strong. Give me a beat. Tap it, tap it, tap it. Good, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, relax it. Let those hips stretch. Good, let that hip stretch out again. Good, one more time this side. And last time this side. And lift up, come over to this side of your chair. We're gonna make a right angle with your right leg. Lift up. Most important thing is keep your knee in your hip and your ankle in line. And you're gonna open it to the side. Open it and close it. Now remember, you don't wanna go traveling with it. You want to stay home and you want that knee to open and that hip to rotate. Good, now check it on your balance. If you just hold lightly or even one finger, using your core to hold you up and out. Nice job. Excellent. Open. Remember your standing leg is slightly bent. Two more times, here we go. Open, out. And in, last time, make it smooth. And relax it, good job. Let those legs roll a little bit. Nice job, let that hip come out on that side from standing on that leg and other side. Good, lift up, come over to the side. Line your knee and your ankle and your hip in line with that 90 degree angle. And come back, open that out, open it out. Good, remember your hip bones. Stay in the front. The leg goes away from you. Nice work. Open out and in, good. That chest is lifted up and out of those hips. No sagging, lift up and in. Smooth move and in, nice work. Open and close four more times, four and in. Three, and in, and two, and in. One more, and out, and in. Good, bring that down, give those hips another stretch. Hips a stretch. Nice work. Coming to the side, take your foot to the front, and I just want you to let it swing to the back, and I would like you to try and keep your legs tight, not, not a bent leg. Here we go. Front, bring it back, and front. And bring it back, and front. Try and keep your upper body in line. Don't try and bend forward. Good, stretch back, and front. Stretch back, and front. As you sweat, stretch back, feel that bum or that gluteal muscle tighten right now, and bring it in. Good, so it has to work and a stretch. Tighten it and release it. Tighten it, release it. We're gonna take it a little faster, let it swing. Up, upper body stays, lift, lift, lift. Excellent. 
We have four more. Four, three, two, one more. Good job. Slide it to the other side. Remember your standing leg slightly bent, shoelace to the front. Lift it and just bring it to the back. Bring it front and back. A little slow to start up off. Great. Up and back. Hold it and back. And up and back. Up and back. A little faster. Up, back, up, back. Just keep this lifted. Good. Hips are square. Remember, at the back of that move, give me a tight bum. Nice butt. Lift. Squeeze. Four more. Four. Three. You got it. Two. One more. And relax it. Nice job. Let those hips a little bit of stretch from side to side. Nice job. You're going to go toes out about as wide as your chair. Now remember your chair may tip, so hold on. I want you to bend your knees. So knees are over your toes. Lift one toe. Now feel five toes ball of the foot and place it back. Five toes ball of the foot. Place it back. Push through your heels and lift up. Good. Now turn your toes. I want you to lift. I want you to feel five toes ball of the foot. Hold that balance. You can take your right arm out and bring it back. Left arm, no wiggle on those toes. It's five toes, dig them in there. And back and relax it. One more time, take it up and hold it. Good, body's lifted. Abdominals are tight, glutes are tight. Arm out and back. Arm out again and back. Roll through the feet all the way down, back to the toes out. I'd like you to press down. Lift your right heel, heel up, squeeze your butt and lift up. Heels down. Bend, heel up, heel up, squeeze and lift. And down, heel up, heel up, grab those glutes and lift, tighten that back, and down. Sit down, heel up, heel up, squeeze and lift. Two more times. Knees fall right over your toes. Heel up. Heel up. Belly tight. Squeeze your butt. Lift up. Last one. Make it as good as the first. Here we go. Take it down. Heel up. Heel up. And squeeze. And relax. Good job. Turn your toes. If you would, come and sit into your chair. Extend your leg to the front. Shoulders down. If you need some support, you can put your hands right here. You're just gonna let this leg come out to the side and bring it back. Good, keep your hips here. Open out, out, in, in. Good. Feel like I have a string from your toe and you're keeping it straight. You don't wanna turn and pull it in. You want it straight out. Excellent. Four more. No melting. Sit up. Two more. Open. And in. One more. Open. Good. Give me a little toe tap right here. You're going to feel that top of that thigh, those quads. Tap it. Good. Arms up. Balance. Eight. Seven. Six. Good job. Four more. Three. Two. And relax it. I know you're dying back there. Give it a little bit of a rub. You're doing great. Good, shoulders back. Remember, if you need that support, you can slide yourself all the way back into your chair, or if you're on the end and you're getting tired, hold that side. Extend the leg, toe up, and just slide it to the side, using those inner thighs and outer thighs to work. Open, and close, and open, and close. Nice work. Open, and close. Remember, you don't want to slide with it. It'll go without you, honest. Open, and back, and open, and back. Open out, and in. Open one more, 
good. Right here, give me those toe taps. Nice long body, you can finish strong, you can do this. Tap, 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 tap. Last eight, eight, arms out. Nice strong body, finish up. Four, three, two, and one. Give it a little bit of a massage on the top of that thigh. Once again, we're here at the Body Edge in Ocean Isle Beach. We would love for you to come and visit us. First class is free. Please come and see the Silver Sneakers. Thank you very much. My name is Brittany. Welcome to Body Edge in Ocean Isle Beach. And thank you for joining me today for yoga class. We're going to start on our backs today. So a nice safe way to roll to your back is to hold on to your hamstrings. Let that leverage ease you down, finding your shoulders and your head. So just getting comfortable here. You can extend your legs or keep them bent. We're just going to find the breath. So place your palms on your belly. Feel your inhale rising the belly. And feel your exhale sinking the belly. Lengthening your inhale and your exhale. Just letting go of any tension or stress. We don't need it today on our mats. With your next inhale, let's start to bring your right knee into your chest. Just saying hello to that hamstring. Give it a nice pull into the chest. Exhale, send it back out to the mat and switch left knee into the chest. Nice big inhale, exhale, switching sides. So move at your own pace for the next three or four breaths. Alternating, feeling your low back staying connected with the mat. length out of the back of the hamstring. Very nice. So let's bring both knees over our hips so that they're in a 90 degree angle and open the arms to a T position. Let your inhale come into your belly. Let your exhale move your knees to the right. So a gentle twist. gravity do all the work here with your inhale let's bring the knees back over the hips exhale to the opposite side big breath in and exhale very nice let's bring that opposite hand and press into the mat to come into a table position so push yourself up Bring your knees underneath your hips and your wrists underneath your shoulders. You're going to find a cat and a cow. So with your inhale, reach the tailbone up towards the ceiling. Top of the head joins it. Your cow belly is dropping low. Inhale. And exhale. Tuck the tailbone under. Round out through the spine, dropping the crown of the head. Push that belly button up towards the spine now. Inhale, back to cow. Lifting maybe the gaze here. Stretching the front of the body. Exhale, opening the back of the body. Fingers are spread wide, pressing down into the mat. Exhale, cat. And we'll just inhale to a neutral spine. And walk it into a downward facing dog. So we're going to tuck those toes under and lift your hips whenever you're ready. So as you adjust your feet to downward facing dog, I want you to be feeling the tailbone curling up towards the ceiling. Your fingers are pressing down into the mat and allowing those shoulders to move away from the ears. Nice. So you're in a big upside down V. From here, let's bring the gaze forward in between the thumbs and just take some baby steps to the top of the mat. Walking all the way up. With your inhale, let's find a flat back. So walk the hands up the legs, just above the knees there, to find 90 degrees at the hips. With your exhale, we're going to slide those hands towards the feet. 
Release the crown of the head towards the mat, maybe opening those elbows, relax your shoulders. Your inhales, moving up the back of your legs, finding that length. Your exhale is dripping down the spine, finding that fold. With your next breath in, we're gonna soften those knees, reach the arms out to the side, come up with a flat back reverse swan dive all the way up. Exhale your hands to heart center. Nice. All right, let's circle the arms up with your inhale. And exhale to a chair pose. So swing those arms back down. Sink through the knees and the feet. Your weight comes into your heels, but you're keeping those thighs nice and strong. Like you've got a block in between your, your knees there. You're holding it tight. Roll the shoulders back. Nice deep breaths for your core here. Chin is parallel with the mat. Your inhale, let's lift. Keep the arms separate and back bend at your own level. So your knees stay soft, pushing the hips forward, drop the shoulders down the back. And wherever your heart is looking, bring your gaze there. Nice big breath. Exhale, let's come to center. Connect the palms. Back to heart All right, let's bring the hands to by our side and take some side bends. Circling the hands back up, this time gra grabbing those elbows. So we're gonna take that left elbow and just gently pull it to the right. Make sure both shoulders are nice and heavy. Trying to keep those hips square. Just feel that move all the way down the side body. Inhale, let's come back to center. Release the shoulders and pull that right elbow to the left. Feel that expansion within the chest, too. Nice big breath in. And we'll come back to center. Release those arms. Let's take that right foot back for a warrior one. So as you step back, we step straight back. So we keep a little separation in the feet. And so that, that's just making sure that both hip points stay forward. At this point, we want to drop the back heel press that back foot down into the mat and bring the front knee over the ankle. So we're feeling like we're sinking those hips down towards the feet. Nice strong legs. Let's inhale the arms whenever you're ready. Roll the shoulders back and take two deep breaths. Feel your belly expanding with that inhale. Exhale sinking into the feet. Nice big breath in. to the hips. We're going to open to warrior two now. So we're going to have to send that back foot right behind the front. And now the outside of my foot is parallel with the back of the mat, but I'm keeping that front knee over the ankle. Rolling the right hip back. We're going to reach forward with the right arm, back with the left arm. Relax the shoulders down the back. So still feeling that pressure in all points of both feet. Nice deep breath here. Warrior two. With your inhale, let's turn that right palm, left palm up, excuse me, dropping the right hand. We're going to reverse our warrior. Inhale. Exhale back to warrior two. We're going to straighten that front leg and reach the fingertips forward for our triangle pose. So we're going to take those shoulders shifting over the hips and then rotate. Left palm to the shin. We're going to reach that right palm, fingertips straight up. So we're stacking the right shoulder on top of the left. Nice big breath here. When you're ready, looking down at your left foot, soften that front knee, come back, warrior two. Very nice. Let's bring the hands to the hips. Step forward with that back foot. And we're just going to switch sides. So stepping back with the left foot for warrior one. Feet are separated. We're going to bring that front knee over the ankle. You can manually adjust your hips here with your hands, keeping both hip points forward, creating that weight in the outside of that back foot. Let's add our arms, reach those fingertips up towards the sky, drop the shoulders down the back. Finding little movements between within each pose 
help get the most out of that pose for you. Using your breath to find that space with your inhale, exhale, using that breath to sink into the pose. I'm gonna bring those hands back to the hips and open warrior two now. So that back foot's gonna open up. We've got our front heel aligned with that back arch. Knees still over the ankle. Right fingers reaching forward, left fingers reaching behind you. Our gaze is over that front hand. Nice big breath here for our reverse warrior. Lifting through that right side body, left hand just hanging behind you. Nice big stretch for that right side. And we're gonna exhale back to warrior two. Straightening that front knee. We wanna keep it soft, we don't wanna lock it at all. And then reach forward for triangle pose. Extend through the spine and then rotate. Just rest that right hand on the shin. Gaze can be out in front of you. Or maybe you wanna lift up the gaze looking at the hand this time. And when you're ready, we're gonna look down at the front foot, soften through the front knee, and lift shoulders back over the hips, warrior two. Very nice. Let's bring those hands back to the hips, step forward. We're gonna spread those feet so that we're about hips width apart, maybe a little more, and we're gonna take the hips down for a squat position. So we can keep the shoulders open by pressing the, the palms together, and when you're ready, start sinking through those hips. Maybe some of you are gonna come up onto your toes, maybe a flat foot is comfortable for you in your squat, but we wanna bring those elbows to the inside of the thighs, open those inner thighs, lift the heart, take a nice deep inhale. Coming all the way to your seat when you're ready. Use your hands to support you on the way down. Very nice. So let's take one more little stretch here before we end and find a staff fold. We're gonna extend the legs forward, make sure the shoulders are over the hips, and exhale, walk into that fold. So breathing here into the low back, we wanna take that inhale. Feel the top of the head coming towards the feet let your exhale soften those hip creases. If you're at home, you can take a, a pillow or a blanket underneath the knees. That helps support the low back a little bit more. Let's take one more breath. Maybe you want to hold on to those feet. Give a little pull for the chest, making its way towards the thighs. And we'll take that inhale to walk back up. Let's make some room on your mat for your head and we're gonna roll all the way back down. Bring the knees into the chest, rock side to side, feel that little massage for the low back. And then as you connect the feet on the floor, we're gonna take a bridge pose. So your feet are about hips width apart, palms are face down. With your next inhale, start pressing into the feet, lifting those hips. Maybe you feel that spine rolling off of the mat to lift all the way to the top of the shoulders. Feel that breath coming into the belly. This is great for strengthening that low back, squeezing the hamstrings and the glutes. One more breath in, using your exhale to roll back down nice and slow. Give that spine a massage. All the way through the mid back, the low back, to the tailbone. If you'd like to bring those knees back into your chest. And just find a nice corpse pose here to relax. You can extend your legs out in front of you. Bring your hands back to your belly. And thank you for joining us today. Hope you have a beautiful day.